Harry and Meghan's great Aussie day out. Royals meet lifeguards on the beach, taste the country's famous eucalyptus plant and delight the crowds in whirlwind six hours in Melbourne. Harry and Meghan were given a proper taste of Australia today, as they met with lifeguards on the beach and tasted Australia's famous eucalyptus plant in Meebourne. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were greeted by cheering crowds and excited schoolchildren as they conducted a walkabout on arriving in the city. They were also treated to an authentic lunch of delicacies including char-grilled kangaroo and barramundi before a trip on the city's famous tram to the beach. Both Meghan, 37, and Harry, 34, looked in high spirits as they took a walk along the beach, while keeping their coats and shoes on in typical British style. The royal couple have taken Australia by storm as they started their historic first international tour together also taking in New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga over the next 16 days. Hours after arriving they announced they are having a royal baby next year, having told the Queen and other royals at Princess Eugenie's Windsor Castle wedding last Friday. Crowds waiting to see Harry and Meghan are growing every day, already far larger than those seen in Sydney two days ago with some in Melbourne reserving their spot as early as 4 a.m. At their first engagement today they were received at Government House for a reception where they played games with young people. Meghan, who was wearing an Australian-designed Dion Lee dress and camel-colored Martin Grant trench coat, later tried Aussie rules in the garden and then changed into a Navy Club Munkow dress and Rothy's shoes made from recycled water bottles for her trip to the beach. Lunch followed at Fitzroy's Charcoal Lane which offers Aboriginal youths employment, which would have thrilled foodie Megan. A visit to Albert Park Primary School followed where young students then took them by tram to South Melbourne Beach for a plastic clean-up. The couple have asked to take part in some of Australia's environmental activities, especially related to reducing plastic use, and Megan told the children, It's amazing what you guys are doing while Harry questioned whether people really need to use straws at all, and if they do, to use bamboo or metal straws. Meghan and Harry are carrying out 76 engagements in 16 days on their first international royal tour of Australasia and the South Pacific. Yesterday Meghan, 37, admitted that she is a bit tired and running on adrenaline but loving her new life. The couple have sparked a whirlwind by announcing they are having their first child just hours after touching down in Sydney and huge crowds are turning out to see them, some of whom arrive in the middle of the night. Many were carrying flowers and signs including two witty notices reading, worth the detention and saying they had skipped work to be there. One little girl even gave Meghan the tiara she was wearing and a teenager who received a hug from Prince Harry just burst into tears during a walkabout ahead of the reception at Government House in Melbourne. After a school visit the couple headed to Melbourne's famous South Beach. On their journey Charlie Wolf. A 12-year-old student from Middle Park Primary School asked if the couple had any names for their baby. Meghan replied, We've been given a long list of names from everyone, we're going to sit down and have a look at them. He added, If you didn't know who he was you would just think he's a good Aussie bloke. But he admitted if Australia should have a British royal family and replied, Probably not, but they can come and visit any time they like. Meghan, who had changed into a Navy Club Munkow dress and, Appropriately, vegan Rothy's shoes made from recycled water bottles, from her navy blue heels for black flats and a matching dress, caught one of Melbourne's iconic trams with Harry. They visited South Melbourne Beach, where they joined volunteers and schoolchildren from the local beach patrol program, who keep the local beaches litter-free and reduce the impact on the marine environment. The youngsters attend nearby Albert Park Primary and Albert Park College. The children showed them bags full of plastic cups, bottles and straws they had collected, which are then analyzed for environmental impact. Speaking to Albert Park College student, Ashley Soja, 14, Harry said, There is literally plastic everywhere. And, you know, microplastics are a real problem especially the microplastics from fast fashion. Did you know that's one of the biggest culprits? Bonnie Shepard, 15, another Albert Park College student, said, Megan was really interested in the effect of microplastics. I told her that there are more microplastics in the ocean than stars in the Milky Way, which she was surprised by. It's amazing what you guys are doing, said Megan. Well done, you're doing a really great job. Keep it up. Carlo Foster, 12 an Albert Park primary pupil, 
showed Harry and Meghan bags full of plastic cups, beakers and bottles he has collected. Harry said, Another worrying thing I'm hearing is some people trying to claim things like these are actually habitats for fish and turtles. Don't ever let anyone convince you of that. The couple also spoke to Melise and Box, 14, from Albert Park College, who had a bag filled with plastic straws. She said, Harry told us to spread the message about whether people really need to use straws at all, and if they do, to use bamboo or metal straws. Harry and Meghan then did a mini walkabout greeting dozens of excited schoolchildren who had lined up on the beach to meet them. Among them was Amelia Markham, 12, from St. Kilda Primary School. I gave Meghan flowers, a picture of her and Harry I'd drawn for them and some t-shirts for the baby. She said she loved them. Before leaving the beach, the couple strolled hand in hand down to the shoreline, to meet a group of lifeguards from Australia Surf Lifeguards. Sebastian Top, 20, a lifeguard for more than four years, asked Megan, are you going to swim today? Maybe not today, she laughed. Harry pointed to a group of around 30 people who had waded into the sea from the beach to get a better view of them. If we try and swim, I think they might be a bit of a hazard. Showing they're not afraid to get their hands dirty, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will help local school children pick up litter from South Melbourne Beach, changing into a pair of Rothy's flats and a matching black Megalina dress. Meghan and her husband made their way onto Melbourne's iconic mode of transport, along with student leaders at a local school. Arriving at the beach, the couple were fortunate to be greeted not only by roaring crowds, but also a bit of sunshine. Earlier, despite the royal couple arriving 20 minutes late for their first engagement of the day, the crowd of around 5,000 showed no sign of dampening their enthusiasm, gripped by Megmania.